Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Dark Guy Memoria. So, um, in between episodes, I still really hate that little black thing. I went ahead and looked up the, the answer to this because uh, I had spent enough time on it. In felt. this place is... And we would have spent quite a bit more time on it because apparently my... Uh, torch bracket. Logic was completely wrong, so good times there. Here is... Some armor. A suit of armor. Here is... This is the statue. Oh, there we go. The statue. Here is... A shield. A shield. And... Oh. I guess I already had nothing in the other one. Excellent. Well, that worked out. So, yeah. That's the, the proper answer to... Hey, let's, let's click on this. No power. Everything must go to the floor. So, let's see, what else can we look on? Let's look at these. Raja promises love, but what did she give me? A staff. It's a map of the towers. Yeah, I probably should have paid attention to that. So, yeah, this is the, the third, third tower, top calm. I wonder if they're all like that. Take a deep breath. Everything's like it was before. Okay. Mm, apparently got a window now. Can't go through that door anymore. So, let's go downstairs, cross, see if we can go outside. When you extinguished the crystal above, the tower came down a level. The exit is now closed off. Uh, I guess that's enough. So, yeah, so, yeah, you can see that that's on the bottom. Let's go back across. And while I was looking for that little section in the walkthrough, I, uh, I saw this as well. Apparently, you can turn that no, off. Oh, it looks like a regular old shard. And then nothing bothers you. you sh <laughs> yeah, I felt a little <laughs> dumb when I saw that. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we have this one turned off. We don't have these turned off. This one is turned off. I can't turn it back on, that I can tell. Nothing to turn off here. Which one are you of? Travia. Even the goddess of hospitality has betrayed me. So cynical. His posture doesn't befit a brave warrior. Let's go look at all the gods. Which god are you? Hazinda, the goddess of science and arts. I can do without her blessing anyway. No, you must have science. That's not where I want to go. Oops. Okay. Back across the top. Now is this on or off? There is nothing up there. Let's go across. And which one are you? The goddess of honorable battle, Rondra. I wonder what became of the young Amazon. Why is the goddess of honorable battle in Rex? Shouldn't give me an armor? Um, one more crystal. Let's click it. The tower is down again. Excellent. Whoa. Can we go out? You shouldn't get too close to them. Uh, I want to. Which one are you? The goddess of healing, Parina. Even she has abandoned me. Uh, Saja, you need to be less bitter. Okay, so we can click on these. You shouldn't things. get too close to them. He doesn't like tentacles, apparently. And we can click on this, and this, and this goes and does what? Okay, it goes back. Now it's awake again, and up. The tower! Yay, tower's up. Let's put this one back down. Come on. Oh, oh, I have a tentacle on it. This is awake. Go back down. Come on.
the tower is down again. So if we want to keep these down, then if that needs to be off, we have to go through here somewhere. We got a crystal and a tentacle and what else we got? We got a quill. Useless junk. But it's all I could find. Stab it. That isn't what they want. They want this. They only react to active crystals. Okay. Let's make it active. Here, have it. Catch! Oh, I really didn't give it to them. Can I jump on a, it? A little bit farther and I might be able to climb across. Okay. Well, maybe I can... I don't know. So... If I whack the crystal, it might come loose, but it might also break into pieces. As long as I turn it off, do I care? Whack if it? I whack the crystal, it might come I don't loose, whack it. but it Can't might also it. break into pieces. It. Put a feather on it. Can you do anything with it? Kasim's presence weakens me. You must touch the crystal with your own hand so I can cast the spell. I don't even get anything with this. <laughs> awesome. They're like, they're not, we're not even Let's good. Let's see what, what happens if I tie the crystal on here. Why would I need a belt? Okay. Because it's stuck. The belt yanked the crystal off the pedestal. It'll stay down here now. Nope. Mine. That was that. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can get across now. Which is are useful for something. Across. I think that's all of them. Let's go find out. Yeah. Shield's down. Okay. We have tentacles. If I can bash them. I'm pretty sure I can cut them. We've cut one of them somewhere before. I don't remember which one. Can I bash them? No. <laughs> well, I don't much care. I don't want I want to stab them with the but wait. Hmm. No. Okay, not quite as exciting as the other one. That was entertaining. That puts an end to your little spectacle. Hiya. Got the tentacle. Ow! Let's just go have a chat with our brother. <laughs> Can I bash it? No. <laughs> uh, hiya, Kazim. Hiya, I you suppose doing, after all these years, you've finally done it. You have defeated me. Do you really think I spent the last 15 years thinking about nothing other than how to plans. defeat you? You're even more vain than I thought. I thought you wanted to outdo me. I'm not here because of you. I'm here so my great deeds can go down in history. <laughs> what great deeds? Don't even start. As you wish. If words cannot injure you, take this. Are tentacles? I don't like tentacles. What do you ah! <laughs> I thought I would let you win. But if that doesn't matter to you, then I might as well just destroy you. Uh -huh. Yes, squirm while you may. I'm in your mind now. I'll shred everything I can find. Soon nothing will be nice. left of your miserable existence. Quite like you existence. wanted to meet me face to face. Then stand up and look at me. Um, pretty sure that's closer to saying anything else. Okay, let's bash him. You can no longer move. You belong to me now. Not into that, brother. Stab him. Struggle as much as you like, or rather, as much as you still can. Stab him. You can no longer. No. That's fine. Give up. Your spells have no effect on me. Hey, we can do something like that. Why don't we do that? Can we deactivate? Hey, I guess we can. We can do something with it at least. Whoa! That was um, a bit drastic, I think. <laughs> you have won. You have defeated me. You've destroyed the greatest temple the world has ever seen. Death will now rain down on the troops. No one will survive to tell.
tell of your terrible deed. Soon none of what you've done will count for anything. <laughs> you must be proud of yourself, for you have won. You've defeated me. Only no one will remember. Kasim is a little self-absorbed. Just a bit. That's pretty cool. Oh. Um, battle was already pretty bloody before that. Can I, am I good? No, okay, I can get up at least. Let's start. I think there's elephants with on our side. Hey, it's my staff. Do I have an item? I do have some items. The mask. What is this? Where did I get this? Whoa. An empty bottle. Bandage. That's not good. I don't remember what the, the mask is. Oh, he must have done some damage. Crap. Oh. That looks not good. He's here. I have staff. Help! I have failed. That looks ugly. Bird tentacles. More tentacles, really? Hi, Amazon. Is this the same girl? Somebody's there. Okay. The shield. I must move it. Definitely sounds different. Uh. Leverage. There we go. Got the story uh, on. I'm wounded. Please help me. Here, this will numb the pain. Or is it empty? The bottle is empty. Oh, oh, I've got rid of it. I still got the bandage. The bandage is all that I have. It was as though Satinav had played a prank and stopped time. An almost endless moment in which Sadja and the Adept just stared at each other. He didn't understand that his rescuing hand was more terrible to her than a thousand demon tentacles could have ever been. The final admission of her ghastly failure. Suddenly Satinav snapped his fingers again and life continued. As he pulled her away, I heard her scream. Leave me, she called. Leave me. Take me back. And again and again, I can't leave him behind. Over and over, quieter and quieter, and ever farther away. It didn't take long, and they had disappeared. And that was that. I was right back where I started. Only one thing was different this time. This time, I was able to remember. Remember a princess who persevered in the face of the most impossible obstacles. It helped that the Gorian Desert 
is one of the most magical places known to this world. Several astral lines cross there, and I lay directly among them. I grew ever more powerful, and I practiced and practiced and practiced. After 400 years, I succeeded in refining my spell to the point where I finally found a way to permanently transform my body. I left the desert and set out for Draconia. I had to know what had happened to my princess after our separation. What happened to the only woman who was ever prepared to entrust her life to a shady, magical staff. Where's the riddle of the scarab come into play? Like, it was on the door, but... Okay, so, um... I think we'll go Satya ahead... Satya failed in the Gorian Desert. And call this an episode here, as long as Brightus stops talking. Um, I know it's a little short, but... She had the mask, and she knew the name of the Djinn of Time. Okay, we'll see however long she talks first. If the wearer of the mask speaks the name of the Djinn of Time, he can retrieve things past. But Sadia didn't waken the Djinn. Why not? That's a good question. She had the mask. Mm. She was devastated. She could have fixed that mistake, or fixed a mistake. But which one? <laughs> it's not all that hard. You just have to put the pieces together. I wonder if Geron's awake yet. Okay, well, that will be the end of this episode. I hope you'll join me in the next one as we continue with Garen's story. See you then.